1984 won't be like 1984. Get your iPod. iPod's here. You like your Macintosh. You like your Macintosh. Your Macintosh. Up, up. And the Macintosh of all the machines I've ever seen is the only one that needs that standard. iPod. A thousand songs in your pocket. If today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? <laughs> Okay, so we are here in the streets of Palo Alto uh, with Johnny from Ustream. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. It's a beautiful day today. Yeah. It's the end of the day. Yeah, that's why I'm doing great. Yeah. So you're going to try to answer a good my question. I'm going to try to improvise good my questions okay. because uh, since actually I called you this morning to, to say, hey, let's meet for an interview. Yeah, absolutely. It was a uh, phone call this morning and I said, hey, why not? You know, yeah. Let's do it. I know you guys uh, through uh, Andy Fox, which is uh, working for you, right? Yes, yes. Andy was um, working for our new media section. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so first of all, let's um, tell the story about who, um, Ustream. What's Ustream? Who's Ustream? Uh -huh. Well, Ustream is an open uh, platform for anyone. You know, anyone with the internet connection and a webcam can use it. And really, you know, it allows you to broadcast live over the internet. Um, we've had a lot of people uh, using us, kind of all interesting type of content. For example, uh, one person came on was a priest and was trying to spread the word of you know her, his religion. Another person streamed a wedding, Not you yet. know, and then one person streamed a live crow, and the eggs hatched alive on Ustream, and that was interesting. I mean, not a lot a lot of people would like that, but uh, I did because yeah. I would never been able to see that unless it was for Ustream. Yeah, and you also uh, streamed yourself, so to say. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, as a, as a founder, I wanted to show people how you could use Ustream. And so yeah, I went to L.A. and I put a backpack on and I started to stream celebrities live over the Internet. And it was really fascinating. It was one night I got a phone call from a friend who was a paparazzi saying, you know, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, and Lisa Kudrow, are, they're at Il Sol Restaurant on Sunset. You know, so I drive and I'm over there and I turn my camera on and I'm streaming the celebrities live on Ustream. And what was crazy was a story was breaking then. Um, Courtney Cox was promoting, I believe, like a movie or a new series that she was doing. And uh, in fact, I had, I think, 500 viewers. And then about a week and a half later, I read about it in People Magazine. Yeah. So as you talk about like the time from the moment that it happened to, to people watching, Ustream got the news there faster. Mm -hmm. What's actually fascinating me is not that much the, um, the content uh, we are producing now with webcasting, but more the technology, which is now pretty mature. And it's so freaking easy right now to do that. Yeah, it's really easy. All you need is a webcam, like a $5 webcam, a $10 webcam. You plug it in, and then when you go to Ustream and you create an account, and then you click like Go Live, and then a window will pop up, and it automatically detects your webcam. Now, if you're a Mac user, which a lot of people are, um, Mac has a default setting where it won't recognize the webcam. You, what you got to do is you got to hit Control, then click, okay. and then, well, first you got to put the mouse over like the blank screen, then Control and click, and then the flash settings will come up. You hit Settings, and then you go to the webcam icon. Then from the drop-down bar, you have to select your source, and then you can stream with okay. a MacBook. Yeah. Well, yeah, and the big advantage is all Macs have integrated webcams, so it's a good, a good thing for you. Yeah, you know, Sony has got manufacturer-embedded yeah. webcams. I think Dell does as well, and they're like XPS line and some of you know Hewlett Packard's product lines too yeah, and it's yeah. a trend that's yeah. you know great because people want to just you know share like visual kind of content yeah. too so yeah but a few years ago there was some things like that lab, like webcasting but you had to be an engineer to be able yeah. to do that yeah it was difficult you know it required a download it required some kind of a heavy encoding it took up a lot of RAM and CPU usage on the client side mm -hmm. and it was cumbersome but now you're right timing's good broadband mm -hmm. Capacity is increasing and um, bandwidth costs are decreasing. So yeah. it seems like the time yeah. is good. Yeah. Uh, broadband, we don't have any problem with broadband in Europe. You know how fast our connections are, yeah. right? You guys have a fantastic network. What is that like? What I'm kind of I'm upload I'm do you guys get? I'm sad when I'm here. Because <laughs> I'm in the Silicon Valley and I can download at 80 kilobyte per second. Yeah, right. Um, over there, we download at like, I don't know, um, 1.3 megabytes wow, per second. And is that all across Europe pretty yeah, much? Yeah, this is pretty pretty much. Well, like uh, in every place in the, in, on Earth, there is even places where you don't have DSL, but it's not a lot of places. There is a lot of places. And that all for 30 euros, which would be 40, $40. You guys are leading the way when it comes to that. You know what's funny? We're in the Silicon Valley here, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and uh, and and you guys don't have the fastest internet connection, so it's 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 kind of it's funny. funny. It's funny, and he's absolutely right. I'm driving on the 280 freeway, going into uh, San Francisco City to a, you know a meeting we had, and I can't even get cell phone, it's not yeah. not internet, just cell phone coverage. Yeah. Here we are, Silicon Valley. You know, the high tech. Yeah. Can't even get cell phone coverage. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of the highways, I live in Germany, so you can also fa f uh, drive as fast as you want. So uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. The that's signal's got to keep up with your Ferrari on that, the autobahn. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's another problem. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I'm coming from more from a world, um, the world of podcasting. And what's funny um, is that, well, previously to that, I did some uh, web radio, so we were streaming uh, audio live, and then I ran into uh, podcasting, and we was all proud that we could do mm -hmm. video or audio, whatever, on demand. Mm -hmm. And now everybody's getting crazy about, whoa, 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 we can do live. So don't you think it, it's it's kind of going crazy because everybody was crazy about the on demand, and now everybody's crazy about the live. It's very interesting. I mean, I see it too, you know. Yeah. On demand, asynchronous, I want it now, the world's going TiVo, and then all of a sudden, it's going the other direction. Yeah. And now everyone's like, the world's going live, it's going to real time. It's yeah. very funny. Yeah. It's funny, with um, I discovered you stream through uh, Chris Pribillo, mm -hmm. uh, which was one of the first big well-known users uh, you had and he I guess he brought a lot of people into using Ustream mm -hmm. like Robert Scoble for example mm -hmm. I watched him and then I started doing my thing and then I also realized everybody loved that and everybody start rediscovering the big advantage like being for example chat with the listeners yeah I mean when you're that's the difference I think when you're live and you're real time you're in one moment in time in a single space and you're able to interact that's what the chat does I mean you can ask a question and the broadcaster is going to see it and you're able to interact and that in interaction is quite addicting yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys have worked on different versions of Ustream I know a new version is right now on live Yeah, um, this is what you see right now on our site is the beta 2. Um, our first beta that we released, um, we kind of, we promptly put it to market. We had an original development timeline, but we realized, you know, market forces are changing. There's some things going on and we want to put our product online. So we kind of moved it forward. And then recently we came back with a better beta 2. We're trying to focus in on user experience. We're trying to focus in on those things that really our people are are telling us and, yeah. you know it behooves us to listen yeah so. okay. yeah and um, how is it going for you guys right now in terms of um, yeah how successful famous are you right now well I wouldn't I wouldn't say you know famous or anything like that um, we're working hard uh, what we're trying to do is um, really develop a good product you know not a product for today but a pro product for tomorrow Okay. You know, and really trying to like think about the forces and the trends that are going to be in play tomorrow, and like what can we do today about mm -hmm. that? So, it's funny you have more than one example of podcasters who uh, ran into this uh, Ustream thing and are now Ustreaming their podcast production, like for example Leo Laporte, or I am doing that, or others. Well, I think it's a like a natural extension of what podcasters are already doing. I mean, podcasters have something to say. You know, they're leaders generally in like a topic. And um, Ustream allows them to, to just interact and engage with their community in a new, exciting way. And it really supplements what they're already doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so um, that's uh, pretty much about it. What's, what's, what's next for you, Ustream? Well, what's next is we're working actually really hard to top our Beta 2 and to bring something that is really different. Beta 3? Beta 3. <laughs> Yeah. When beta are you going, guys, out of beta, or are you like Google? Yeah, perpetual beta, like 30-year beta. No, uh, like, no, like no. Gmail. No, actually, you know, my personal belief is you got to come out of beta at some point. Yeah. Well, we hope. Like yeah. With Gmail, we are hoping since three years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Gmail user. So yeah. So every time I log in, I see uh, the beta. I laugh more, a little bit. But uh, the beta is a good way for Google to say we're not supporting it. It's in beta, so if you have any problem, just don't write us. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, you know, we're working on a new version, and it's actually going to be quite interesting yeah. in terms of uh, thinking about some things a little differently. So, okay. Oh, y you um, guys equip some. Uh, oops, sorry for the camera. Uh, <laughs> you earthquake yeah, earthquake. <laughs> um, you guys equipped some sometimes some guys like have seen um, when there was this web 2.0 conference it was a big thing where you um, equipped uh, Robert Scoble with a weird uh, hat mm -hmm. yeah absolutely um, you know Robert Scoble is a thought leader in, in what he does and um, when he saw Ustream he really thought that there was something there it was really exciting and, and he's a blogger and he was able to um, kind of as a natural extension what he was already doing and, and at web 2.0 um, he 
chose and wanted to put on the helmet cam is really interesting because what people said was you know what this personalized it's like a it takes something that's like a big conference and it gives you like a personal experience about it so yeah the la one of the last question i had is um i can i could we could speak about is um about the streaming with your video camera i have uh, some ideas coming from the front here uh, with uh, sorry with your mobile phone i meant Well, you know, the mobile phone market is, is going to be huge when it comes to streaming. Um, if, when you just think about, like, how many Americans or how many Europeans own a mobile phone device, that's a huge market you can't really ignore. Um, you know, we think it's going to take a long period of time um, to have full market penetration when it comes to the live streaming. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a slow process. Yeah. We don't think it, you're going to see 80%, you know, within a year. It's going to yeah. take some period of time. Yeah. Let's talk about networks, um, mobile phone networks. Um, um, we have like in Europe UMTS, here there's Edge and all other uh, things. It's really important for you that those networks are faster and faster, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, with live streaming, as you already know, it requires somewhat of a load on the network, and so the more robust the network can be. We're really excited about WiMAX coming out here in 2008. Yeah. Okay. That's something that uh, is going to be quite exciting. Yeah. Well, there is a kind of competition to s uh, between uh, WiMAX and uh, what's called um, um, uh, G3.5, so HSDPA. Um, so um, I, I don't know. Um, what do you think will win that mo this market? Because it's always Wi-Fi versus uh, mobile carriers. Yeah. What's your point about that? Yeah, it's hard to say. It really is. It, yeah. yeah, it's hard to say. Because both have an advantages. Absolutely. In terms, I mean, um, mobile phone have a bigger coverage, mm -hmm. but Wi-Fi. Who can top up Wi-Fi? Yeah, absolutely. And I see those points, you know, and. I, and, I, and, and I wouldn't want to predict either way. I just, you know, kind of lean back and see what happens when it comes to that. By the way, what's your job at Ustream? Um, I am, I am uh, the guy who... No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I was going to say mop the floor. No, but I'm one of the founders. I'm one of four founders. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's my role. Okay, so yeah. if you found it, you really believe in it and you are going to the end of your dreams. Absolutely. Okay. I believe in it and um, it brings us... Great joy each and every day when people are happy using our sites. How did come the idea from? Um, came from uh, basically, you know, when my uh, other partner and I, um, this is our second company, and um, we were talking about kind of the way the world was going. And we really wanted to go, like you said, in a different direction. Everyone's on demand. It's a TV world. And we're like, you know what? Live is exciting. It's not just about content, but about experiences. And so that's kind of the genesis of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you anyway, and now uh, let's get back to work. Okay, I, absolutely. Back to. Yeah. So, it's yeah. nice meeting you. Right. Thank you. Yeah, Bye. Non, ça c'est le GPS de Romain en fait. Ouais. En fait, le GPS c'est Google Maps. C'est comme CD, c'est déjà pas mal. C'est comme moi. C'est la dernière technologie. Euh... Ah, Stanford University. C'est pas mal, c'est bonne université. Quoi Des gens intelligents qui y vont, c'est ça, ils vont me dire Elle est pas mal cotée en fait. inscrit à l'université. Hein. C'est une question de temps. <rire> Vas-y, dis ça à ma femme. Elle va t'envoyer une bombe. Déjà que je la taquine sur le fait qu'on va déménager dans la vallée. C'est mort, hein, j'ai acheté une maison. Je vais peut-être pas la revendre. Hein. Tu peux la louer, tu viens, ouais, tu viens bah... habiter ici comme euh, Louis Clameur. <rire> 